this type of lawsuits highly abuse the law and use the law as a weapon and they affect an entire community. Uh, it's not just one business. Uh, the attorney and plaintiff uh, do have a history of suing for ADA. They have at least two or three uh, cases cooking at one time, in which we had six or seven within two or three block span. It hurts people. The bookstore down the street that had to close doors because she couldn't pay out the clothing lady who had to move from one location to another to avoid being sued. I'm sure he loves this city. All structures, all businesses, all buildings that the majority need some type of work to be fully compliant and it makes it an easy target for him. My family has always been in the industry of coffee. 30 years ago maybe, we left pretty much everything behind in Nicaragua. We now reside here in San Francisco. We started uh, the business in 1987. Within a year and a half or so, we opened a second store. I own two of the retail stores and we just go at it. The, the whole case started with a personal letter from the plaintiff. We reply, I actually called him up. Um, I was able to talk to him and he expressed that he needed better accommodations. Yeah, the violation is that we have something on this. So before, there was another, there was a bigger one here, so we were encroaching here. his attorney. Once we had fixed everything, we walked him around and they said, yes, uh, excellent, you made changes, that he acknowledged that everything was fine for him. However, it was too late. You know, the, the lawsuit was already on. The lawsuit was demanding 87000 The calculation that he had at an estimated $4,000 uh, per visit. The whole process lasted almost a whole year, and it got to the point where we had to negotiate uh, to avoid having to go to trial. Our employees were affected. It did make us all nervous, uh, knowing the uncertainty of what was going to happen. It takes away from a couple, few years of savings, and it, and it takes really money from working people.